Being a quadriplegic with no finger function, using a phone can be difficult. In this video, I show you how I use a phone as a C5 through C7 quadriplegic and tips that I have to making using a phone easier. If you are new, I am Mason Ellis and I am a C5 through C7 quadriplegic and I make videos to help you live life just like you would have able body. If you enjoy this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos. Comment on this video explaining how you use a phone as well as tips and tricks to help others. The best cell phones for quadriplegics are smartphones because they have less buttons to press and are touch screens. I recommend smartphones without a physical home button, so the only buttons are the lock and power button and the volume up and down buttons. Android and iOS have accessibility features that make using the phone easier, which I'll show you in a bit. Right now I'll show you how I use the phone without finger function. So basically I normally hold the phone like this to where my hand is kind of in a fist uh, just naturally and I'll lay the phone like this or I will turn it like this depending how I want it. So this allows me to just move this wherever I want it but typically I move it like right in front of my chest like around in here and then I'll just take my other hand and use my thumb and press it like this. I know some people use their pinky knuckle and they will use that to move around on the device but it's really just however your fingers or hands are uh, situated and you can do it best the way it is for you. And as far as talking on the phone, you can always use speakerphone or you can just put it up against your ear like this and just hold it with your fist naturally. Or you can put it in your hand like this and have your thumb on one side and these two fingers or however you want it on the other end uh, just depending how long you're going to be talking on the phone. Now for accessories that are helpful I recommend using a case that has grip such as this right here so on the sides right here and on the back it has a pretty nice grip and that way it doesn't slide out of your fingers whereas this one right here is just completely flat and it's really slippery and I drop it all the time. There are these phone accessories called pop sockets which is basically just a round suction uh, thing that goes on the back of your phone and it pops in and out and it just gives you something to hold on to and then there are also these rings that attach to your phone and you can just put your thumb or another finger in there and just hold the phone like that. These pop sockets and rings will also help you pick the phone up if you drop it. There are links to all of the phone accessories that I just talked about down in the description below. Now for a few features that are useful on Android and iOS. The first feature is the accessibility button on Android and assistive touch on iOS which make doing certain tasks easier. For the accessibility button on Android go to settings then go down to accessibility then go down to accessibility menu and you're going to turn on use service click allow and click got it now in the bottom right of the screen you will see this little guy and this is the accessibility button so anywhere you are on your phone you click that button and it brings up a list of different buttons that do different things such as the assist Google Assistant, um, the settings, power, lock, volume up and down, um, recent apps, brightness, lock screen, uh, quick settings, notifications, and screenshot. So that is really handy and all you have to do is just press that little button in the bottom right and it comes right up. For the assistive touch on iOS go to settings then go down to accessibility scroll down and click touch and assistive touch and turn on assistive touch here's the assistive touch button and it can be moved around and it'll just automatically slide over to the edge of the screen no matter where it's at then you can customize what functions you want access to with the button so you can just do customize top level menu and you can customize what buttons and where they're at another useful feature on android and ios is voice assistance which allows you to talk to the phone for it to do different tasks for the voice assistant on android you can hold down on the home button and then press the little icon in the bottom right for explore 
and then you will click your profile in the top right and click settings and then go to assistant and here you will have different um, settings that you can adjust for the Google Assistant. If you scroll down it'll have assistant devices and you click your device and now you can turn on Google Assistant at the top and then you can also turn on to where you can just say hey Google. You can access Google Assistant by saying hey Google or holding down the home button. For the voice assistant on iOS go to settings, go down to Siri and search, turn on listen for hey Siri and you can also turn on press home for Siri. Now you can access Siri by pressing the home button or saying hey Siri. Another helpful feature on Android and iOS is talk to text which allows you to talk and the phone will type what you say. For talk to text on Android go to settings then go down to system click languages and input virtual keyboard and then click on Gboard and then click voice typing and turn on use voice typing. For talk to text on iOS go to settings then go down and click general click keyboard and then scroll down and turn on enable dictation now there should be a microphone button at the top right of the keyboard on Android and to the right of the space button on iOS when you press the microphone button you'll talk and the phone will type what you say there are many more accessibility features that make using the phone easier but these are my favorites I hope this video helped you out and gave you some ideas for how you can use a phone without finger function don't forget to comment on this video explaining how you use a phone as well as tips and tricks to help others if you enjoyed this video give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos thank you for watching this video and I hope you watch another one of my videos